The state is seeking to have these men remain in jail until their trial, and that means they're entitled to a lawyer for their bail hearing. Now, three of the four didn't have lawyers present today, so that means their hearings will be held tomorrow. Jonathan Brand of Concord was the first to appear in court by video. Brand is charged with three counts of felonious sexual assault. According to the state, he had a juvenile perform sex acts on him, the acts allegedly taking place between March and May of 2007. The state is asking that Brand, who is currently at the Valley Street Jail, be held. So Brand was told to apply for a lawyer and a bail hearing is scheduled for tomorrow. It's the same situation for Trevor Middleton of Belmont. Middleton faces two charges, one of aggravated felonious sexual assault and one of felonious sexual assault. The state alleges that he sexually assaulted a juvenile between the ages of 13 and 16 between May of 1999 and March of 2001. Middleton was told to apply for a lawyer. His bail hearing will be held on Friday. Uh, Stanley Watson of Allenstown is currently being held at the Rockingham County Jail. Watson is charged with three counts of aggravated felonious sexual assault for allegedly committing sexual assaults between April of 97 and February of 98. Watson also due back in court tomorrow for his bail hearing. Now, Victor Malovitz's hearing was held in Concord Circuit Court. The Guilford man allegedly sexually assaulted a juvenile at the Youth Detention Services Unit in Concord. Prosecutors say the assaults took place in various rooms at the facility, including the candy storage room, the TV rooms. Malovitz did have a lawyer present, but she hadn't had a chance to review the charges and asked that his bail hearing be delayed until this afternoon. Now, that hearing is tentatively scheduled for 2 p.m. this afternoon. As I said, the other hearings will be held tomorrow. We don't have definite times for them yet. Reporting live in Manchester, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.